Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the OSHA subreddit. Now, OSHA stands for Occupational Safety and Health Administration, and it deals with workplace safety hazards. Here on YouTube, one of the biggest workplace safety hazards is demonetization. And you too can help combat demonetization by purchasing a Make Demonetized Monetized Again hat. Available now for a limited time only, linked in the description. Did I mention that the embroidery is actually really good. Like I was super impressed when I got the sample. It's uh, it's like really, it's like really nicely embroidered and I'm stoked on that. And I think I forgot to mention that in the last video. So I thought I'd mention that here. We'll start off with number 19, which is with minimal regulations and absence of insurance. This is a common at site, at construction sites. God, third world countries. Whoa, that's some title gore right there, Jesus. Yeah, that seems quite safe this man over here high up above the ground right above if he falls just hey, you know there's at least a safety net of some other rebar so it's better than nothing right it's better that you land on a thin metal wire rebar thing than just falling all the way to the ground mm -hmm. seems i mean hey in fairness you see images of people working on building the empire state building Woo. Yeah, no, not a fan. This seems safer than that, at the very least. So things used to be bad before OSHA existed here, probably. Fire safety memo. When your fire warden is a deranged John Wick. Fire wardens will ensure that in the event of an emergency, a safe and orderly evacuation is implemented and to ensure that those needing of any special assistance in their location are aided. Once the alarm sounds, he or she will conduct a quick search of their designated floor work area to ensure that these known uh, to need special assistance have been executed before leaving. <laughs> No, oh, okay. You know, rather than just having to deal with them blocking the path of other people who are, you know, capable of getting out of the building, we'll just remove them all from the playing field as a whole. Sorry, are you having a little bit of a slow time getting out of the building? Uh, yeah, well, that's it for you. It's all over. You're not getting out at all. Hey, it's better than getting killed by smoke inhalation and or fire. I'm gonna get demonetized for saying these things. Good thing I'm wearing the hat to protect myself. Push bar to open, go on. Just try and see how far you get. Fire exits, push bar to open. <laughs> hmm, how about the whole do not obstruct the fire door? Uh, what even is that? Did you just build a wall on the other side or is there like a a trash dump and it just happened to pile up there either way I don't think that's gonna work very well huh all right well let's hope there's never actually a fire or people are gonna be in a little bit of trouble you all of the deadliest fires in history always seem to be at like nightclubs and large enclosed venues and theaters and things like that because it's like oh where do I go uh, not very many options here to get out of this these small little exit doors with thousands of people in here yeah, I always think about that when I'm in a super crowded place. I wish I did, but I do. And then I just get nervous. I don't like big crowds of people. Load bearing stack of ceramic tile. Oh yeah, because that's not on the thing. Mm. That could probably potentially break. I mean, even if it cracked though, it's probably not gonna like scatter everywhere. So I don't know, it'll get the job done. You're confident enough to stand next to it and take a photo of it, so, you know, it's probably gonna be just fine. I don't know what's in those boxes either. It says Waterworks. That's a store I know of, at least kind of local to me, that has, like, fancy bath fixtures and stuff like that, but could be heavy. I don't know, maybe it's just real light. Just a bunch of cardboard boxes. This looks reliable. Yeah. Is that inside of a car? It's probably always a good thing to zip tie just unconnected electrical wires together. That should probably hold and not create any problems at some point in the future. The water happens to get there or anything like that that can cause bad things. That's certainly not a fire hazard at all. This happened a few days ago in Fulton Market, Chicago. That seems safe. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure those are like, uh, you know, when on the ground floor, those are supposed to protect pedestrians walking by from any accidental falling debris. You don't really think about what happens if the scaffolding itself actually falls on the pedestrians. Then it doesn't really do its job, does it? Also, I realize that it's so that the workers can work up at the upper levels, but I was thinking more about the, the passerbys. Hopefully no one was on the thing when it happened, so that probably wouldn't go very well. Although if someone was, and they survived with no injuries, then it's a hell of a story for them to tell their children and grandchildren. 
Did I ever tell you about that one time that I almost died when scaffolding fell over, but then I was awesome and I held on, didn't even get injured? Yes, Grandpa. Like, like every time we see you, you tell us about it. My boss showed me what they did before they had a ladder. I'll, I'll call it, hold on, we, we can't fit the whole thing on our page at once. We've got to, um... Okay, so it's like... It's some kind of scaled down forklift. Not the full-on forklift with the, the car attached to it. Scaled down forklift holding up a table. Holding up another table. You know, a ladder actually seems a whole lot cheaper than doing that entire setup. I'm just, I <laughs> gotta throw that out there. But in fairness, I'm not much better when I have to change a light bulb in the ceiling in this room. I, I put a base of four, I posted a photo on Instagram a while ago. You know, base of four stools, put another stool on top of it. Climb up, change the light. So I feel, I feel it. This is what I would do too. It's always fun to get a new guy on the site. Oh God, really dude? He's like, you know, ah oh man, when I stand on this ladder, I'm like three inches shy of being where I need to be. Oh, there's that thing over there. That's like three or four inches high, right? That'll get me to where I need. No, it doesn't matter that it has wheels and that I'm gonna be standing high up on a ladder doing electrical work where I can get electrocuted. Ah, it seems completely safe. I bet you though, this is an uneven surface. The wheels will stay in place. We'll be totally fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You can imagine whoever's supervising that just being like, Jesus Christ, run a dive and grab the ladder. Oh, before things get out of hand, please, I hope. Don't worry, I'll put some cardboard down so it won't scratch the table. Where's the, oh, it's a lot, every, that could have been a lot worse than it actually turned out to be. Was this ladder actually off the table, literally just on the cardboard that was going off the edge there? Cause that's what it seems like happened. It seems to be a trend this month of uh, posts of people either having ladders and not setting them up in a smart way or just trying to figure out substitutes for ladders. You know what? Maybe that dude was better off with the whole forklift situation because it seems like nobody knows how to actually use a ladder. So maybe they're even more unsafe. <laughs> 80 miles an hour, just walking around the trailer, no seat, no harness. Yeah, I mean, that, that seems totally fine. It's probably Caltrans or something. Well, Caltrans is what it would be here in California, whatever state they're in, something else. But no, probably whatever the government division is that, you know, holds up roads and stuff. So they're allowed to do whatever they want. What are the police gonna do, pull them over? They're gonna be like, yo, we're also government. So um, we're cool, right? Imagine rear-ending something at 80 miles an hour and just be, you know, chilling out on the back of the trailer. I'm sure it'd go really well for you. You know, you don't have to deal with that pesky issue of having a seatbelt stop you. You know, and then you get all these bruises from the seatbelt when instead you can just, you don't have, you can, the ground can stop you. Or the window of the truck when you run right into it at 80 miles an hour. So you'll have, a, it'll be a lot longer before you stop. And maybe you'll just be fine because of it. Don't listen to me, wear your damn seatbelt. Hope the fire isn't behind you. Fire exit, when door is obstructed, exit the room. <laughs> Not. Fire exit, do not obstruct, just fire exit. Eh, it might be obstructed sometimes, and if that's the case, just go elsewhere. You know, sometimes you'll be al alive at the end of this, sometimes not. Better luck next time if you die. You know, when you come back in another life, um, hopefully you, you just won't end up in this room again. Coworker slipped and got a gash on his head a few days ago. I walked into this today. Safety first and second and third. You know, I feel like we have all gotten close to or have slipped on a wet floor before. No matter, everyone looks at the signs, at least if you're me, you look at the sign and you think it's a challenge. You're like, oh, they think this floor is too wet for me to be able to walk on it properly? I'll show them. I have no issues. I'm just gonna waltz on in like Superman and glide across these wet floors. I bet they're not even wet enough to glide across. And then lo and behold, one of these times, I don't know if I've ever taken a full tumble, but I've definitely kind of gotten close to slipping out. And then, you know, your ego is a little bit more bruised than anything else. You're like, I hope nobody actually saw that because I was warned. But it's a, I take it as more of a challenge. Although I'll be honest, if I saw this many wet floor signs, I might actually think there's a reason for it. You know, like one, okay, I'm gonna see what I can do here. Five of them, somebody must have died here. So I'm gonna find another bathroom. Fire in the building. 9, uh, 911 operators will let everyone know. 
in case of emergency, call 911. So that they, they have everyone's cell phone on their speed dial list, so they'll just, they'll give you a ring. Our alarm system's out, but that's fine. That's why we have cell phones these days. They work two ways when it comes to 911, for sure. They can GPS track you, determine that, oh, this, this cell is actually in this building, that location, this GPS area, and so they call you. It's great. The scary thing is that technology probably does actually exist. It's just not utilized because people would be creeped out by it. A lot of things in this sub are borderline, but I'm absolutely certain this qualifies. Natural gas. Is that a sprinkler head? Is that a natural gas line that ends in a sprinkler head that will then trigger when there's a fire? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what, guys? If there's a fire, we can't have the authorities coming into this building. So rather, this isn't um to put out the fire. This is the destroy all evidence switch. It's like, you know, even a minor fire the authorities are gonna have to come in. We got a lot of confidential illegal stuff going on in here. So instead, we'll just blow the building. At the slightest sign of fire, we just release the natural gas in full force, fully open the line, and see what happens. It's a great time. It'll really get rid of the evidence, guaranteed, or your money back. I hope that's not what that is, Jesus. Or someone just playing a joke was like, you know what we'll do, we'll wrap the sprinkler line in a natural gas sticker. I feel like that's what that is. Someone playing a joke. But I don't know. That should work just fine as a door stopper, complete with rusty nail. God. Oh, just, just, oh, the idea of like accidentally stepping on that or something, or the idea uh, comes to mind of like, I don't know, there was a would you rather of would you rather, I don't know, kick? your toe straight into like a, a I don't know something coming out of a door or a wall like a nail coming out of a wall like ha oh, ha oh, and that's what that makes me think of nah dude I'm not about that I've stepped on we wearing shoes I've stepped on a nail before a, a small one and been like wow all right if I was not wearing shoes that would have ruined my day and depending upon what was on that nail more than just my day I always get really worried about walking barefoot places. I wish I didn't think about the worst possible outcome of situations as much as I do, but I do. Well secured load. Yeah, that, that'll work, definitely. I see no problems with that. It's all just one cohesive piece, right? You see all the grout that's in there. You only need to hold it by that, and then the rest will definitely fall into line. Or just fall. This is like, a, this is some Eat, like runner-up final destination stuff right there. It's not the pipe truck. If I saw a pipe truck with an unsecured load, oh my god, I don't even like to drive behind pipe trucks in general because of final destination. And I bet I'm not alone. I bet that the amount of lane changing that takes place behind a pipe truck after final destination came out increased like 20 fold. You, there's no way it didn't. This, I just don't really want to brick through my windshield and or to drive over them at all because that's not very good for you and your car or you. A nine inch width of unsecured grading over a 25 foot pit been this way for years. It, why though is it been that way for years? So that means this is a regularly used area. So why don't you just, I don't know, secure it. Even if you don't want to put out the expense of completing the path and putting a guardrail on, at least, I don't know, glue it into place. That's not all that hard to do. Someone literally could just buy a thing of glue, scatter it on the on the surface, then stick the gray on. Like, that's all you had to do. But why bother? That's a lot of effort. When instead, you could not do that. And then someone eventually will slip. But I guess they'd probably do that even if there was glue. Nailed it. Probably literally. OSHA approved. I don't even know what that's doing. What is that doing? I don't get it. Did you, cause that's metal. You can't nail into metal. Is that the point? Oh, oh, I, okay. So it's a zip tie. So they nailed into the wood and then zip tied around the nails. That's kind of clever. <laughs> it actually probably works okay. <laughs> cause I assume that this pole ends right here. It's just resting on the wood and you're like, all right, how do we secure it? Just nail and then tie around. Huh. You know, in a pinch, I guess, why not? <laughs> <laughs> you sure thing. Okay, well anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this last month of OSHA. Support YouTuber occupational safety health hazards. 
by purchasing the demonetized hat. Link in the description. It's actually good quality. It's really nice. Yeah. Anyway, uh, make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description. If you want to catch up on more of these videos, subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to listen to music playing in the background, links in the outro over on Mirror Music. I'll see you next time.